we can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell him we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. Yeah. Doing our best. But you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we used to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you were Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> That strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented and falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. <laughs> Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. What's happening? I, I can't move. I, I can't. No. Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? Quite a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca! Get me out of here! They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken? I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world! You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there. Hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data. You find unfinished memories and you crack them open. Finish what you started until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, 
Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body... It's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A, a word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels... normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle, a sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia? Should my skills fail me? Or my ambition lead me astray? Do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon.
be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Ah, oh, do you mean gemstones? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. None of you leave until the assassin is dead. Do you understand? Signal me, Kirill. But he seems to have found us. Panic! Panic! Understand me. Nothing gets through. Leandros! Hey! Well, well. Look what crawled out of its hole to die. He's at death's door. Finish him off. Bring me his head, or throw yourselves into the canyon! Could it be that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? Or am I in charge of an army of drunks swinging sticks? Right this way, Ezio. Nowhere left to run now! Not for me, and not for you. Kill that dog! Cut him down! Don't you ever stop howling. Where is it? Ah, Nicolo Polo's journal. This will do you no good. Not now. We have found one of the Masyaf keys already, and are closing in on the rest. What is in that library is not for you, not for the Templars. Ah, you can have Altair's books, Ezio. We only want guidance. We only want direction. To the location of the Grand Temple. Uh, Grand Temple? Tell me more, now! Requiescat in pace, bastardo. Snooping, wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... a fail-safe program. 
trying to keep your poor head intact. Whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I keep the Animus distracted as best I can. For you, so you can explore. Otherwise it might hunt you down like a little virus and, uh, delete you. Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. Dear sister, Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. Magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. A molto tempo. I left Rome a 12 months ago, looking for inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantinople is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me, or uh, travelers such as yourself. I have so much work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were... were mainly... Salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Beyefendi. I hope you find something to hold your interest here. I have faith I will. Yardim at the Belir meme, Fendim. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet, renowned master and mentor. It's your auditori, the la la la. Prego. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze, the city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Kazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. 
between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead, as are you. Mentor, say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. Do not worry. I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! And you, Ezio. Your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. Buona idea. Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. The Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's your... Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip by. The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts, you see. The hook and the blade. So you can use one or the other. An elegant design. How about the bigger challenge? Hmm? Va bene, let's go. Hmm. Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. The crossroads of the world. Many generations of men have ruled the city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Race you to the bottom? I'm impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. Yusuf, Chabuk Buri again! Huh? An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for swordplay? I do what I must. Good man. When he tires of running, an assassin must take to the air. Watch! Templar scout. And another there. Watch this. Assassin! Help! Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar. You stay here. Do you see that tower? See, si. the Galata Den. Evet, I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hide it, Astkale. Unebuk, Sheriff Usta. Is Yusuf with you? An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. Send word if the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar then. Take a ferry across the Halic. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. Ezio! Come meet my new friend! You fight like a man late for his own wedding. See, si. 
By about 25 years. I was too late to save the bazaar then, unfortunately. But now that my army has doubled in size, we'll take it back together. This way! Too many to engage directly. Uh, I am not confident a smoke bomb will help us here. Smoke bomb? Ezio, it's time you Italians joined the 16th century. These do not obscure. They disturb. Your turn. Make me proud. This is another of our many dens, taken by Templars, as you can see. Somewhere among this rabble is a Templar captain. Kill him, then climb the tower and light our signal fire. This warns the Templars that it is time to pack up and go. Bene, you create a distraction. I will send them home. Sixteen? Desmond, think about this. What if... I went with you? With me? Where? It could work. Just for a while. Until I found a way out. Another body, maybe, or a... I don't know. I just... I don't want to be here anymore. That's... That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I had my chance. <laughs> and I wasted it. Claudia. Constantinopoli, called Istanbul by the Turks, has welcomed me as one of its own. The assassins here, led by an affable fighter named Yusuf, take great pride in their city. A place as diverse and colorful as one could imagine. But it is a troubled city, too. A rebellious faction of Byzantine Templars still fights to retain influence. And their recent attacks have delayed my search for the Masyaf Keys. But this will not last. As soon as I am able, I will begin looking for Nicolo Polo's former trading post. In search of clues that will bring me nearer to the Masyaf Keys. How did we do? We have won the day and recovered that den. But we lost a few friends in this fight. So much death for so little gain. You have some experience recruiting new assassins, do you not? More than a little. The people here are quite sick of these Templar attacks. Can you turn on your charms and find us a few more recruits? See, si. But this den will not do for training them. Not this soon. A good point. Speak with one of my men in Galata after you are finished. He can help you begin their training. Any damage? Not that I can see. Byzantine Templars may be bad hosts, but are decent tenants. Once they capture a location, they like to keep it intact. Because they intend to stay. Que sinincle. Well, as promised, if you want to learn how to craft your own bombs, I can show you. Ah, 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 don't touch that. One wrong move and bang, the building comes down. Are you serious? <laughs> Look on your face. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. You'll find many ingredients for bomb recipes scattered throughout the city. So keep your eyes open and your nose to the ground as you move about. That should keep me busy. Grazie, Yusuf. Have you ever seen this book? Uh, no. It's a journal? Si. The Secret Crusade by Niccolo Polo. A uh, Marcos father? I found this on a Templar in Masyaf. It mentions the five keys to Altair's library. Niccolo brought them here and hid them. Ah, and the Templars know this, so it's a race against time. They found one already, beneath Topkapo. I want to recover it and find the other four. So, where will you begin? The old Polo trading post, I think. They ran a business in this area, no? 
I believe so. Speak with a man named Piri Reyes in the bazaar. He can point you in the right... Piri Reyes. I think I have seen some of your earliest work. Reyes? <laughs> Did Yusuf Tazim send you? That sounds like one of his exaggerations. See, si. he said you could show me the location of Nicolo Polo's former trading post. Ah. You must be that Florence he's been yammering on about. Uh, Lothario? Ezio. I don't hear the difference. Yes. The old polo shop. It's just west of Aya Sofia. Here. Grazie. Yusuf also mentioned that you were the man to talk to about specialty bombs. Ah, that man. He is a talker. A vet. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's Navy, currently on leave to study cartography. But through my soldiering, I've also gained an appreciation for artillery and explosives. And it has served the assassins well. It gives us a... an edge. I carry many kinds of bombs. For assassins only, of course. Lethal, tactical, diversionary, and a few peculiar casings. Everything you see here is for sale. If you can prove you know how to use it first. I am eager to learn. Well, no one is stopping you. Just let me know. Pepeco! I need to reconcile these ancient Greek maps with data from Admiral Columbus. But this is like comparing maps of the moon and the earth. What a mess! Ah, Ezio. Cheer me up. Let me teach you something. What about these poison bombs? How lethal are they? Quite lethal, Dosto. We distill our poison from the Datura plant. A pretty little flower with a deadly secret. This one kills, slowly but surely. Be very careful, for your sake and for others. Grazie. Try not to spend all of that money in one place. What money would that be? Signora, I know a pickpocket when I see one. Your technique is good, but not flawless. Not so. Until today, I have never been caught or called out. Let me show you a few tricks. I need no instruction, and I can prove it. Give me one minute, and I will steal more than you could in a day. Bene. Begin. You are not alone, Arkadashim, and you need not be afraid. Let me repay your kindness with action, assassin. If you would have me, I will join your cause. Ah, turkey smoke bombs. Are you curious to try a few? Should I? I've used smoke bombs before, with varying results. But not like ours. We have a special recipe for deep, Dark clouds. Throw one of these and your eyes are useless. You must rely on your hearing and any other senses you may have cultivated. Other senses? What could that mean? <laughs> Word gets around, Ezio. That you are a special sort of man. With strange gifts. Keep it to yourself. <sighs> For ten months I have been working on a new map for Beazid. But he is old, and I am a perfectionist. <sighs> Perhaps the next Sultan would appreciate my efforts. Well, how can I help you, Ezio? Smoke signal bombs. How do they work? You must know the old saying. Where there is smoke, there is fire. These bombs play off that idea. Creating a thick plume of smoke to trick city guards into believing a fire has started. These bombs are quiet, however. So only those who see the smoke will be lured away. Sato, I will give it a try. Fight for an honorable cause, Arkadashim. Not just your life. If I can help others as you have helped me, I most certainly will.
Tell me about your special bomb casings. Well, I have some sticky resin bags. My uncle Kamal had a wild fondness for them. During Beazid's conflict with Venezia, he was a captain in the Ottoman Navy. He liked resin bombs because they stuck to almost any surface. The hulls of large ships, for instance. I lost many friends in that conflict. We all did, Ezio. And that war is why I became an assassin. I hate the artificial boundaries our leaders have built between people. We fight to end the fighting. It is a sad irony. It will always be an irony, Evette. But perhaps one day will not be so sad. Use this wisely. You are not alone, Arkadashim. And you need not be afraid. Let me repay your kindness with action, assassin. If you would have me, I will join your cause. You have nothing to fear, Effendi. Your identity is safe with me. Oh, thank heavens for that. Forgive my brash introduction, but I am an assassin in training myself. I am strong, fast, and quite a hit with the ladies. That is a start. How about our race, huh? I will prove to you my skill. Say, to that spot there? Well, I could spare a few moments. All right, go! You are good, old man. You have some natural talent yourself. Yarman, who is this? Ah, Ella, come. Meet my new mentor. I told you I was an assassin, my love. And to think you ever doubted me. Merhaba, Efendim. We were just taking the air, Ella, and discussing tactics and such, no? <sighs> no. We were discussing when your training would begin. Sunrise, every day. Kalata Tower. Understood? Ah, uh, Eret. Uh, of course, mentor. You are not alone, Arkadashim, and you need not be afraid. Let me repay your kindness with action, assassin. If you would have me, I will join your cause. Merhaba, mentor. In all your wanderings, have you heard the name Lysistrata? The drama by Aristophanes? Not quite. She is a local actress named for the character in that play. I have not. Will you walk with me? We have a small problem. If you respect life and liberty, join our cause. Fight to restore peace to these troubled times. You are an inspiration, Effendim. I will add my voice to this chorus. Ah! Do not let him ask. He was holding this, Mentor. It must belong to the Vizier he robbed. You take care of this body. I will return this document. This one has a strange look. What do you call it? A tripwire bomb. One of the more subtle methods we have of removing your opponent's feet. You see these filaments on the side? This bomb will not detonate unless one of these many wires is disturbed. Very useful in narrow alleys. Or under the seat cushion of someone's horse carriage. Oh-ho! It's your auditory. You are one devious high fan. I should keep my distance, lest you corrupt my delicate sensibilities. Oh, I think you will leave. Of course! <laughs> Don't blow your hands off, huh? Please! Please help! Find the man who did this to me! I should get you to a Hakim. No! There is no time! The man who did this... He is looking for my wife and my daughter. If he finds them, God knows what he will do. If you vow your justice, Arkadeshim, please, do not let that monster harm my family. It is done. How are you feeling? My wounds will heal, and my heart is lifted knowing that my family is safe. How can I repay you? Join us when you are feeling well, brother. We could use men with a sense of honor. Evet, I will. Most certainly.
Did you know that the early Christians used to place east at the top of their maps? They assumed that heaven lay in that direction, beyond Cathay, because that is where the sun appeared every morning. What convenient simplicity, no? With heaven and earth, glass spheres in the sky, and the earth at the center of the universe. Ha! What a load of horse piss. Ah, but you are not here to philosophize. What are you looking at? I need a simple but effective means of distraction. Then this is the bomb for you. It gives a nice loud burst, luring all soldiers within earshot right to the source. Have fun. Try this, Ezio. A caltrop bomb. A non-lethal method of stopping pursuers. I like the sound of that. When I first sailed with my uncle Kaman more than two decades ago, we had quite a lot of fun with these in many rowdy ports. In Rodos, for instance, it was so easy to lure the hospitalers from their palace posts right into a patch of caltrops. <laughs> and to see them dancing in the street in a full suit of armor, nothing is more undignified. Try it. You'll see. Brash fool! You killed an innocent man! I have no excuse, Mentor. Forgive me. Even if I do, many others will not. Nor should they. Take up his body and bring him to the shore. This is your burden to bear. Commit this poor man to the sea, then meditate on your mistake. Have it, Mentor. May the shame I feel never fade. I used my first bomb when I was in my late teens. I was sailing the Mediterranean under an unrecognized flag, calling myself a privateer. The Francesi would say Corsair. No, they would say... Maho Eretic. <laughs> I do miss the days of rough ocean travel. The sea spray and the rolling waves. One day soon I will take to the sea again. But until then, I am here for my assassins. Here is your bomb. Use it with great care. Buongiorno, Meraba. Please come in. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? Si. How did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. Sofia Sartor. Have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? Prego. Most of my best tomes are in the back. I always knew I would return. Have you found anything interesting? Mio Dio! Who put that there? Incredibile. Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? Who are you, Messere? Only the most interesting man in your life. Ah, oh, che presuntuoso. A presto, Sofia. I will return in a moment. Do you know how long we've been searching this filthy cistern? I've been here a few weeks. Thirteen months! Ever since the Grand Master found that damn key. But he hasn't got a clue what he's doing. All he knows is that somewhere in the city... This is a big city. Toxel. That's what I said. Back to your post, Aietes. Find the key soon. Look alive, eh? We pay you to wash the doors, not your feet.
Salve, Ezio. That took some time. What did you find? Something that may interest you. Mio Dio, che meraviglia! And here is my shop. Look at the margins. Strange symbols. And these are titles of books. Rare books! A few of these have not been seen for more than a millennium. Nicolò Polo hid these books around the city. This map should tell us where. Hmm. You're beginning to interest me. Vaguely. From what I can tell, I need to find these three books first. They may contain clues to locate the rest of these. Molto curioso. Another was found beneath Topkapa Palace, but there is still time to reach the others. Found by whom? Men who do not read. Sophia, can you decipher this map? Help me find these books. Can I borrow them when you are finished? We will work something out. Yusuf, salute. Piri told me I might see you here. Did you find what you were looking for? I believe so. This is one of Altair's five keys. A strange artifact. Ah, it is like nothing I have ever seen. You should keep it somewhere safe. At our headquarters, see. I will. What brings you this way? I am coordinating with our allies today. The thieves in the bazaar, the mercenaries near the arsenal, and the Romanis in the Constantine district. You are spread a bit thin, Yusuf. Let me speak with the Romanis myself. I have had so little contact with them in the past. That would ease my mind. If you are in a hurry, you may travel by our network of tunnels. The air down there is a little foul, but... The rats are no bigger than dogs. Have fun. Grazie. All quiet today? Not remotely. A heated conflict is brewing between two factions of Romanis. One group has banded together against a woman they call Mirella, accusing her of swindling the poor on dozens of occasions. As we speak, they are on their way to exile this trickster by force if necessary. By your tone, you seem to believe there will be trouble. I do. Mirella is a frightening woman, and her temper is well known. I fear for anyone who crosses her. Then we should give these Romanis our support. No good can come of this fight if it escalates. You crook! You charlatan! How dare you defile our people? How dare you turn the city against us simply to satisfy your greed? Keep your voice down. You know nothing of my motives. I will not be silent! This woman is a trickster, a cheat! She robs the poor of their money by preying on their fears! I will regret taking that tone with me. What's wrong? Ah. Murderers! Surrender yourselves! Stop right there! He did nothing! Salute, amico. Forgive me for asking. But the insignia on this chest, what does it mean? That? It is the seal of Theodoros Komnenos. And he is your benefactor. Benefactor? Oh, he. He is my friend, my countryman, and one of the wealthiest men in this district, despite our new masters. Of course. Krat. I have seen happier men at the gallows. Heh, crack wise elsewhere, Effendim. Today the Byzantines stole half a year's worth of coin from us. Mi dispiace. Can I help? Perhaps. For centuries, my people have been slandered and insulted, labeled witches and warlocks. Well, so be it. We will not run from these lies anymore, but embrace them. Encourage these rumors, for it is better to be infamous than ignored. I like the sound of that. Here is my plan. Every man who touched that chest of coins must die, but discreetly as if cursed by a pagan hex. The Romani curse becomes our blessing. Perhaps then people will leave us be. Haha, <laughs> the old tricks are always the best. Do be careful, Ezio. I hear that chest is cursed. Where to, bella donna? This way. And stay alert.
You should count it. Make sure everything is there. Oh, you have our thanks, Ezio. And you can count on us from here on out. For anything. At any time. Good to know. If I need, say, to borrow some money, I will ask you. The bastards! The damn bastards! I will tear off their arms and use them as clubs! Calm, friend. Anger is the enemy of caution. Those Byzantine thugs kidnapped my son, Ezio. To get at me, they attack an innocent boy! We can get your son back, but only if we coordinate and act carefully. Evet, of course. If you lead, I will follow. Hey, Kim Effendi, this boy has been poisoned. Give me room. Trap. It's a trap. Say again. The Templars, they use me as bait to flush you out, to kill all of you. Have we been followed? I would not doubt it. Take positions and be ready for anything. My boy, how do you feel? I am fine, father. Stop doting. <laughs> Well, if you think saving your life is doting, there may be hope for you yet. Ah. Oh. I need to lay down. Drink water and keep still. Agitation speeds the poison through your body. Teşekkür ederim, Ezio. I owe you a great debt. The markings on this key are familiar. And the material... I have seen its kind before. Just like the Apple of Eden, ancient technology from the first civilization. foot. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar? Oh, yes. He was a fine man who lived as he died. I don't Altair, we have been betrayed. The enemy has overrun the castle. You live. And Al-Mualim, where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. We can do nothing for him now. Altair, we must fall back. When I close the castle gate, flank the Crusaders in the village and drive them into the canyon. You don't stand a chance! Abbas, no mistakes. Another step, and your mentor dies. You will not leave this place alive, traitor. No, you misunderstand. I am no traitor. For I cannot betray those I never truly love. Then you are doubly wretched, for you have been living a lie. You put too much faith in the hearts of men, Altair. The Templars know the truth. Humans are weak, base, and petty. No. Our creed is evidence to the contrary. <laughs> uh, perhaps I am not wise enough to understand. But I suspect the opposite. That I am too wise to believe such rubbish. You offered him a chance to salvage his dignity. Why? No man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness. But he shunned your graces. As was his right. Altair, I have watched you grow from a boy to a man in so short a time. It fills me with as much sadness as pride. 
You fit your father's shoes as if they had been tailored to your feet. I did not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? How can I regret the only life I've ever known? You may find a way in time. And it will be up to you to choose the path you prefer. Come, my boy. And ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. Ah. So they contain recorded memories, these keys. These ancient seals. But what is Altair trying to tell us, I wonder? What does he want the future to know? Or to learn? Was it Bali who did this to you? Mentor, forget me. You have fallen for a ruse. He captured me to draw assassins away from our headquarters. He will be on his way there now. Once your creed was as vital to me as air and water. But when the Turks marched into Wallachia, and you assassins did nothing to stop it, how could I continue to believe? If a man's philosophy does not let him protect his people, his home, and his family, what good can it do for the world? Peace be with you. Claudia, I am now in possession of one of the Masyaf keys. And better still, I have discovered a map, encoded with signs and symbols, which I believe will lead me to the remaining keys. Its full meaning is a mystery to me, but I am thankful to have met a Venetian woman willing to help me decipher it. I must not overstate my successes. The Templars still hold one key hostage, and if I am to recover it, I may need more help than the Assassins can provide. If I can make a friend in the Ottoman court, my access to the secrets of this city will improve greatly. A pleasant surprise, Ezio. We should trade stories if I'm not dead by this time tomorrow. Is there a chance of that? We learn that the Byzantines are planning to infiltrate Topkapı Palace now that Prince Suleiman has returned from his Hajj. If they do strike, it will be tonight at a cultural exposition the Prince has organized. So what is our plan? Gardeshim, this is not your fight. No need to snare yourself in the Ottoman affairs. The Byzantines found a key beneath Topkapı Palace and I would like to know how. Ezio, we want to protect our Shehezade, not interrogate him. Trust me, Yusuf. Just tell me where to go. Topkapu's main gate. We plan to dress as entertainers and walk right in. I will find a disguise and meet you there. I look ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. My blade is too conspicuous in this outfit. Are you armed? Messel deal. You mark the targets, and we will take them out. You, uh, know how to play that thing? I learned a few chords when I was young. When were you ever young? This courtyard is clear. But I do not see Prince Suleiman. Follow me. Now this is a celebration. Suleiman, the Sultan's grandson and governor of Kefe. And he's only 17. We met on the ship. He told me he was a student. And who is that? His uncle, Shehezade Ahmed, the Sultan's favorite son. He is grooming himself for the Sultanate as we speak. Sherefe, Solon is up. Come, we have more Byzantines to find. Suikasya, Suikasya! Clear the courtyard! Sezade Suleiman, take cover! Follow them! Ezio! It is a relief to see you again, Mio bel menestrello. 
Did I say that right? Well enough. I hear you are a governor, too. Is there anything you do not do? I do not talk to strangers. I am Suleiman. Ezio Auditore. Shazadem, are you injured? Who is your captain soldier? Tarot Balete. He is away on an errand. Clear this body and send the guests home. Then summon Tarik to the Divan. Bashus Tunesh, Azadem. Tarik Barlete is a captain in the Janissary Corps, the Sultan's elite soldiery. They guard the Sultan, but not his family. Not very well, evidently. Ezio, do you have some time to spare? I would like your opinion on something. I will, once I change out of these rags. Guzel, meet me when you are ready. Mia cara, the strings of fate have drawn us together. Two Italiani, lost and alone in the Orient. Do you not feel the... magnetismo? I feel many things, Messere. Nausea above all. Is this man bothering you, Sofia? Excuse me, Messere, but the lady and I are... Oh! Oh! Il diavolo in persona! Stay back! Duccio, a pleasure. Run, buona donna! Run for your life! Who was that? Un cane. He was engaged to my sister many years ago. And what happened? His cazzo was engaged to six others. Chiedovenia. So what brings you to these docks? I took a break from my work to retrieve a package. But here they claim the captain's papers are not in order. So I wait. Che seccatura. I could be here all day. Let me see what I can do. I know a few ways to bend the rules. Do you now? See, si. I will meet you back at your shop. Salute, Ezio. Any luck? Mademigella Sofia Sartor, Libraia, Constantinopoli. Oh no, look at the damage. Did they use this to fight off pirates? Well, so far, so good. Ah, beautiful, no? This is a print of a map by Martin Walse Müller. See here? The new lands, described by Messer Amerigo Vespucci. Poor Cristoforo Colombo. History has a strange way of unfolding. What do you make of this body of water here? A new ocean, perhaps. Most of the scholars I know claim the size of the globe has been underestimated. Incredibile. The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. Well, you honored your promise. Here is mine fulfilled. If we are correct, this should show you the location of the first book. I must admit, my head is swimming with the prospect of seeing these books. This is knowledge the world has lost, and must have again. Perhaps I could print a few copies to distribute myself. Or a small run of fifty or so, that should be enough. <laughs> Perché ridi? Forgive me. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so personal and noble. It is inspiring. Goodness, where is this coming from? Grazie, Sofia. I will return. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlete. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch.
Heed my nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today, your janissaries were outshone by an Italian loot player. Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, Effendim. I will conduct a full investigation. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanet olam. Tariq Bey, a word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tariq, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed. I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? You'd better. You are weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. You make a decent philosopher, Ahmed. But you will be a poor Sultan. You may show yourself out. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can. Promising news, Mentor. The actress Lisi Strata is making a public performance under a stage name. Hmm. She knows it is wiser to stay hidden. But her vanity is getting the better of her. Follow me. We will get her this time. You do your duty well, assassin. But you do it with such coldness that I almost pity you. The lives you fight to protect are dull, weak, and lacking luster. What a bland world. It will be if you assassins get your way. Ragwee, Scouting Pache. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the Apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer, just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. What? 
has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Atair! No! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas, stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Mualim less than anyone. You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero. This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it. No man is. Ah, it is beautiful, is it not? What was it? Are they dead? Forgive me. I did not know. Have you anything to teach us? Or will you lead us all to ruin? Altair. Barely 26 and already a Grand Master in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? I have made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He is a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. You see this rat? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I am not married. Ah, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rats just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir! I cannot take less than 200 action for this! My final offer! When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise? At 180? 180 Akche. And we part as friends. This is an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed. What news? Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the Arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come.
Are you proud of your kill, assassin? Do you expect place for murdering a better and braver man? You have taken my life. But you cannot erase my legend, my power, my influence. Men feared me, even as they did my bidding. That is the mark of a true leader. Salute! I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa and the other in the Bayezid district. Bayezid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. What do you make of this? Oh, Hezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings. Still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. Hearing. I do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canalia. It is a good likeness, don't you think? I prefer the original. <laughs> Buffone. This was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so, I found you another book location. And it is not far from here, actually. Grazie. Ezio, what is this all about? You are not a scholar, that much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sophia, when I can. What do you hope to hear, assassin? That I regret my associations? Never. Rome abandoned us in our time of need. The West turned a blind eye to the Ottoman juggernaut. Is it any wonder that I should turn to men with more honor, more courage, and more vision? I regret nothing. Preguiescat in pace. You assassins are a plague on the hope of humanity, pulling down every edifice of progress we managed to build up. Given enough time, I could have delivered my people into the arms of the Templars, but no more. Live this life in peace.
specify the amount, darling. But the money stays with me until I have seen the cargo for myself. And the say that's quality. Understood. You are a shrewd man, Manuel. Trust without cynicism is hollow. The count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polikala, I will have a map drawn up for you within a week. Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. And short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. You have been warned twice. No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here! You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite! Even in times of peace, the poor are always under siege. If we inspire them to vent their anger, perhaps that will help our cause. That gate will not stay closed for long. The people are doing you a favor, Ezio. Return it, and keep them safe from harm. Twenty years in the city, living like a cipher. Finally, everything is falling into place. When the Paleo Logos line is restored, Manuel, do not forget who helped you bring it back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence. But you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. Merda. So dies another wretched Romani. Is that what you are thinking, assassin? Maybe your heart is filled with pity for me? Then leave me be. For I despise such charity. I took what was owed me, in spite of oppression, of hatred, of ignorance. I live my own way, for myself. Requiescat in pace. Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. Maria, when we left myself ten years ago, this order was strong. But all our progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth, and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the Order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. 
Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair, reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. El Tayer! El Tayer! No! Strength, Altair. Maria. He is possessed! Kill him! Take the apple! No! Father, I got your message. What has happened? Let him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? I will have the apple, Altair! And I will have your head for all the dishonor you brought upon my family! You cannot run forever! Not from us! And not from your lies! Maria. Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name. Manuel Paleologos. Nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous Janissary named Tarek Barletti and find the location of the Templars' army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key. That's not a legal move. It is a European variation. Arocco. It's interesting, but not exactly fair when you play by different rules than your opponent. You may think differently when you are Sultan. Shall I take it back? Suleiman. I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over Bayezid's throne. Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is common. What is there to argue about? Your father and I were close once, but his cruelty and ambition have made... I have heard the rumors, uncle. Well, I have a meeting with the vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. Ezio! Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser, Manuel Paleologos. Paleologos? That is a sad sound. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleologos. 
If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. Tarek knows where the rifles are headed. If I find him first, I can follow the weapons straight to the Byzantines. He will be with his Janissaries in their barracks. So if you want to get close, you will have to be one yourself. Not a problem. Guzel, get the information you need, then kill him. Are you sure? You told me Tarek and your father were close friends, Suleiman. This is true, but such naked treason against my grandfather deserves death. In Daisy. Kardesh Larim! One of our own was found murdered and stripped of his garments not an hour ago. His body dumped like a mound of rubbish. Keep a close watch on these streets as you move about. Someone is planning to strike in our name. We must be ready. Tarek, a message for you. Tarek, <laughs> the rifles have arrived in Cappadoce, where Manuel has garrisoned his army. And our men? Are they still with him? Evet. They will contact us when the Byzantines decamp. Then we will meet them when they reach Bursa. Everything is falling into place, Effendim. Evet. For once. Uh, what a bitter irony. Is this the result of Suleiman's investigation? You collude with the Sultan's enemies. What did you expect would come of such treachery? I blame myself. Not for treason, but hubris. I was preparing an ambush. Preparing to strike the Byzantine Templars where they felt safest. What proof do you have of this? Uh, see, here. This will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadoce. Destroy them if you can. You have done well, Tarek. Forgive me. Protect my homeland, assassin. Allah, Ashkina. Redeem the honor we have lost in this fight. Enjoying the poem? Who are these men he condemned to hell? Political opponents. Men who wronged him. Alighieri's quill cuts deeply, no? See, It is a subtle way to seek revenge. Ezio. I plan to make a trip to Andrianopoli in a few weeks to visit a new printing press there. That should be fun. It is a five or six day ride from here. And I will need an escort. Prego. Oh, I'm sorry. You are a busy man. Sophia, I would love to accompany you. But my time is running short. That is true for all of us. Well, I can try to solve this last code now, but I need to run an errand before sundown. Can you wait a day? What do you need? It is silly, but a bouquet of fresh flowers. White tulips, specifically. I can get you the flowers. Nessun problema. Are you sure? It would be a nice change of pace. Bene. Meet me in the park east of Aya Sofia, and we will trade. Flowers for information. You look like a man with money to spend. What do you need, Dostum? Tulips. White, if you have them. Ah, tulips. Uh, forgive me, but I am fresh out. Something else, perhaps? It is not my call, unfortunately. 
All right, listen. I may know where to get fresh tulips. You wait here, and I will return. One hour, two at most. I am not waiting an hour. What is this? A gift. Sit. Che belli, grazie. I wanted to thank you for letting me play a small role in your adventure. A small role is enough for this adventure, believe me. <laughs> you are a mystery, Ezio Auditore. Mi dispiace. I do not mean to be. It is fine. È affascinante. Sembra squisito. Why, thank you. Any luck with the final code? Ah, the code, see. Si. I solved it many hours ago. You will get it soon enough. Wealth, power, ambition. Such things I have seen in my short time on Earth. And reveled in them. Such things are the wonders of man. You may believe you have ended my life, but the truth is, you have completed it. To perish in this age-old struggle is an honor befitting a king. Tarek was not traitor, Suleiman. He too was tracking the Byzantines. What? So did you... I am sorry. God forgive me. I should not have been so quick to judge. He was loyal to your grandfather to the end. And through his efforts, we have the means to save your city. Tarek... You should not have been so secretive. What a terrible way to do a good thing. The weapons were taken to Cappadoce. Can you get me there? Yes, of course. I will arrange a ship to take you. Suleiman! Suleiman! I have been set up and made to look a traitor. Do you remember Tarek, the Janissary? The man you quarreled with? He's been murdered. It is no secret that he and I were at odds. Now the Genezaris will accuse me of this crime. This is terrible news, uncle. When work gets back to my father, he will banish me from the city. Ah, forgive me, nephew. I was not aware that you had a guest. This is Marcello, one of my European advisors in Cafe. Buonasera. Marcello. My nephew and I have a private matter to discuss. As I said, there will be a ship waiting for you when you wish to leave. Grazie, o mio principe. We will track down the perpetrator of this crime, uncle. Have patience. They say he screams in his sleep, calling out for his father. Abbas, what a miserable man. It is not our place to judge. It certainly is. If our master has gone mad, I would like to know. Shh. Good evening. Water. Of course. Sit. Many thanks. 
What brings you here, old man? Pity Abbas. Do not mock him. He has lived as an orphan for most of his life, shaped by his family's legacy. He is desperate for power, because he is powerless. He is our mentor, and unlike Al Mualim or Al Tahir, he never betrayed us. Nonsense. Al Tahir was no traitor. He was driven out, unjustly. <laughs> Is it? Is it you? I heard the rumors, but I did not believe them. I wonder if I might speak to Abbas myself. It's been a long time. Impossible. Abbas uses rogue Fedayin to keep us from the castle. Fewer than half the fighters here are true assassins. So, where do I begin? With us. Kill him now! What are you waiting for? You fools! He has bewitched you! Tell your men to stand down! No! I am defending Masha! Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life, staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. That is true, Abbas. I learned many things from the apple, of life and death, of the past and the future. Let me show you. I can never forgive you, Altair. The lies you told about my family. My father, the humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No! But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed his honor. I hope there is another life after this one. Then I will see him and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time, we will find you. And then there will be no doubts. Still, he fought to hold our brotherhood together. I would have called him stubborn in my youth, but now I can only admire his courage. The assassins were his life, from beginning to end. He had no other. What to do? The suspense is palpable. Yusuf, wait. Un favore. Yes? There is a woman running a bookshop at the Old Polo Trading Post. Sophia. Look out for her. She is a remarkable lady. You have my word. Gather your men. This will attract some attention. Tüm işi yanlış yaptın ahmak. Baştan başla. Don't let him reach the ship.
Do you regret anything, Desmond? Like what? Running away? Leaving your parents behind, finding a shit job and pretending to be productive? What's it like spending your whole life avoiding hard decisions? Come on. Sure, you're an assassin. But it wasn't your choice. Do you have a point? I want to know if you regret anything. Sure. I wish I'd been more patient with my parents. I wish I'd listened. And Lucy. Maybe things could have been different if I'd... I'm not sure. Thank you. For what? For making sense. I have left Constantinople and set sail for the interior of Anatolia, to a region called Cappadocia, where Manuel is training his soldiers. If I am lucky, I will not be alone, for there may be Ottoman spies in the area waiting to strike. But, as ever, I put stock only in myself, and hold the memory of dear Sophia close to my heart. Claudia, you would laugh to hear the racing thoughts of your brother now. I have come to admire Sophia with more affection than I thought possible. After the death of Christina, something withered in me. But that feeling, that capacity for love, has returned. I adore Sophia, but dare not drag her into this life of mine. Not without fear of hurting her, or driving her away. signs of Tarek's men. Not so close, Adi Herif. Easy now. Tarek sent me. Only you? Why not more? I am enough. Where are your men? Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was dressed to look like a slave and managed to escape. But the others? Are you a capable fighter? I like to think so. Well, when you are certain, come find me. Did you happen to see that we caught another of the Sultan's spies lurking about? A woman this time. Disguised as a harlot of low birth. <laughs> Sending his harem girls now, eh? It seems the Sultan is running out of skilled fighters. Where did you take her? Inside. Into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge. <laughs> How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? A few weeks at most. Janissaries will know I have betrayed them by now. Do they have the resources for retribution? Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so... fragile. <laughs> Shakuru, try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. Mm. You, take the woman from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Sakulu, I don't have the key. Find it! Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has it. He's on leave in the... You took your time. You are welcome. Amanullah. What is that? 
Not everyone was taken prisoner. Poor men. That Turkman renegade did this. Shah Kulu. I'll kill him! Wait! You do not cooperate very well. I'm here to rescue my men, not make friends. Right there. That armor is too thick for bullets. I will have to get in close. Jonas, we have to help him. Men who make a fetish out of murder deserve no pity. Can you walk? Evet. The rifles you brought, they should be destroyed. Most of them don't actually work. But the gunpowder is real. We could not fake that. Bene. Keep out of sight until you hear the explosions. Then, you run. Explosions? If you do that, all hell will break loose. You will panic the entire city. See, si. I am counting on it. And then what? Then I find Manuel Palea Logos. I got it! This not the arrows in ready! Sabotage, Manuel! You need to take cover! Get out of my way! Citizens, soldiers, compose yourselves. Do not give in to fear. We are the true shepherds of Constantinopolis. We are the lords of this land. We are Byzantines. Corio, stand fast. Do not let anyone break it. Oh, Stop that man! Come down! Stop and think for a moment. Think about the life you have disrupted today. The anarchy you have sown here. You... You take advantage of a poor and displaced people, using us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fell hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. <laughs> oh. I should have been Constantine's successor. I had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Huh? But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What am I, Byzantine? These are only labels. Costumes and facades. Beneath these trappings, all Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. And seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Oh, 
poor Manuel, last of the Palaer Logi. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man, impossible to keep in line. You disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds that pit father against son, brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body, with one mastermind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions! Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sofia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing. Leave her be. We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her. I know you'll try. Nicola Polo, our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. Grazie. So? Where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Thank you, Mentor. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close. Father, are you hurt? Ah. Uh. Give me a moment. <clears throat> ah, the end of an era. When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message... for whom? I wish I knew. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind their Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. 
I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche, Ezio Auditore. Brothers, sisters, the whole city rises against us, while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Where is she? <laughs> Such fury. Where is she? If you think you are in a position to negotiate, kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library, and I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough. I had Ahmed tell as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem! Stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. Mentor? 
Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women, and to maintain the dignity of our order, as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower, and wait for my command. Where is she? I admire you, Ezio. But your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio. Not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines, so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded a hero. More or less. Now, the keys. First, the girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! Tell your men to back off. She's all yours. Are you hurt? <coughs> not, not hurt, but very confused. I did not mean to drag you into this. I am sorry. <laughs> you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon. But I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? Run! We are close. Keep steady. Well, well. You have come to see me off. Hang on, Sophia! Look out! Ezio! Ezio, look! You have been a thorn in my side, Sophia! Oh, go, Ezio, I'm fine! Now it's you. How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Oh! Soldiers! Selim is not your master! You serve the Sultan! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. <coughs> Selim! Stop! Please! Ah! So, you are the 
assassin. It's your auditor. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> You did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? Here it comes! What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion! What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live! The tales we tell ourselves! Don't do this! I'm saving you, idiot! Go! No! I write these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Acre now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf, and once there, into Altair's library, to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister, for it is late and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me Will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. End of the road. You had better come out of there alive. I plan to. No books. No wisdom. Just you, fratello mio. Scatting parts of Tyr. You have seen to my books. Yes, some we sent with the polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. If 
you are asked, say I set the apple away. Tell them I sent it to Cyprus or Sipango or that I dropped it into the sea. Tell them anything to keep men away from this place. This apple must not be found. Not until the time is right. Another artifact? No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind. Like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could. Not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. That I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we, who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? To speak across centuries? Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. Do you hear me, Cypher? Can you see me? this nexus of time. I am not used to the calculations. That has always been Minerva's domain. I see you still have many questions. Who were we? What became of us? What do we desire of you? You will have your answers. Only listen, and I will tell you how. Both before the end and after, we sought to save the world. We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground to avoid the war which raged above, and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. It was our duty, mine, Minerva's, and Juno's, to sort and sample all that was collected. We chose those solutions which held the most promise, 
and devoted ourselves to testing their merits. Six we tried in succession, each more encouraging than the last, but none worked. And then the world ended. The earth shook for days, the fires burned for weeks, and when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my words. Pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. Wait, look, his vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's... he's moving! Desmond, can you hear me? Son? I know what we need to do. 